that's all the calls I use. Some of them I don't use. My favorite's got to be the mouth call, and of course my pot call. Uh, I love using those two. Throw my mouth call in, hit my pot call, get that bird in there close enough that I can get on him, and just soft with that, and or maybe just shut up. You know, you know. Sometimes you can call too much. Uh, I'm not the best caller by any means. Like I said, I'm a deer hunter that likes to turkey hunt. Uh, I'm going to give me some turkey loads for it. This is just a single shot uh, partner model, New Englander. and uh, I, guess, I think they're still New England. Yeah, New England fire, firearms. Uh, just a single shot, 20 gauge. I'm going to try it out. I'd like to get a model just like this in 12 gauge eventually. Uh, just all around good guns. One shot, but you know, very rarely, if you're firing two shots, it, things have gone wrong and <laughs> I'm going to try this sucker out I've had this gun for a while walnut matches my uh, hammer time custom call so yeah I'm going to try this out I found some shells I'm going to buy some new shells but I did find some shells digging around in the old ammo box uh, I think they're paper <laughs> so, uh, they're old uh, real old I got a decoy here my old ugly decoy, I still have it, but I think I'm retiring it. It's a foam one. This one here, a buddy of mine gave me. Said he wasn't turkey hunting no more, and he didn't have any use for it, so he gave it to me. They don't have a stick, but I find that when I'm out in the woods, a little old sapling, just shove that sucker on there, gives it a little bit of movement, and works out pretty good. So, got to have your decoys. I mean, you don't have to have. I've killed turkeys without decoys, but uh, they're good to have. Keeps their focus off of you. I'm gonna try using the fanny pack this year. Usually, I use a backpack. Uh, I'm gonna try out the fanny pack uh, for turkey hunting. That way, uh, I can keep my camera gear separate from my turkey gear, so that'll keep me from having to confuse things. Uh, looking forward to this season. Uh, been scouting. Scouted out three nice toms. Now, will they be there? Uh, come here in about 16 days? Uh, who knows? Uh, it's all about scouting. Scouting, scouting, keeping a lookout. You don't know what is going to mess with them birds. They're constantly on the move. Uh, they're in a pattern right now. They can be patterned. Is that going to stay the same? No. Uh, the technique I like to use the most is, like I said, I'm a deer hunter who likes to turkey hunt. So I don't depend on calling. You know, find out where they're roosting is the main thing. Find out where they stay, where they're sleeping at night, their bedroom. And then it's all about finding how they leave out because it can change. And that's when you got to look for your turkey scratches, your visual sightings. Where we hunt, as always, there's no wide open fields on our property. They're all adjacent. So we're hunting deep timber toms, and they're like a whitetail deer. They use structure, draws. You know, they love draws filled with oaks, with oak trees. Alright, I got me a nice little shady spot down here 30 yards away from that target. That's a long turkey shot. Uh, me, I like to have them in there a little closer than that. A lot closer if I can handle it. But we're going to see from here about approximately how how well this thing patterns out. Uh, you know, it might be too spread out for me to take a 30 yard shot. This way I'll know. But uh, like I said, I found some old shells. I'll probably buy some new ones, but I'm going to try these things out. They, I mean, that's an old shell. You can feel the difference in it. It's got a paper, a wax paper out, you know, it's a three inch mag. 
20 gauge, which is, you know, mine will shoot three inches, but I got a feeling this is going to kick <laughs> pretty good. But we're going to try it out, see how it works, and uh, that's why I got the eye protection on. I don't want anything. Uh, it's an old shell. I don't even know what brand it is. Let me see. J.C. Higgins, extra range. Huh. Oh, buddy. We'll see. Fire in the hole! Well, we got a few holes in the right spot. Got one there, two there, one there, a couple down here. Pretty spread out though. Not not a not what I'm looking for for 30 yards, that's for sure. Looks like a lot of it was up high. I might have to remember that. I had my bead right here on the neck. So I think we'll scoot up about 20 yards and see if we can't do something from there a little better. All right, moved up 10 more yards. We're at 20 yards now. This is about where I like them at. This is where I've shot majority of my birds have been pretty close about this close so uh, you know this 20 25 yards that's that's to me that's a good turkey shot guns working good still so let's go see where we're at now I held a little lower right there uh, I like to put my bead right on the base of the neck right where the red starts just make sure that I get as much coverage as possible you know uh, you don't want to definitely don't want to be running after no wounded bird that's for sure all right well we got significantly more coverage right here and that's where I want I mean there's one two three four five six seven eight nine, I mean the gob of them right here, we even got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine of them in the head. So, really a dramatic improvement just in 10 yards. So, I'm going to keep that in mind. And, uh, of course, a lot of my pattern ended up over here, too. So, you know, uh, <clears throat> that open sights, you want to... Maybe I, I might have jerked a little bit, to the, which my jerk is to the right, a hair. So that could have been me, but that, that, that's perfect right there. You get 10, 20 BBs inside that head, and you're doing good. So uh, I like that. I think 20, 25 yards, I will definitely be taking a turkey shot. And, you know, and I'm, I'm probably going to grab some new ammo just, just to be sure. Uh, you know, I, I want to use that old ammo up. Like I said, I found a whole bunch of it at the bottom of one of my uh, ammo boxes. It's just been laying there forever. Uh, time to use it up. So, uh, yeah, I think that'll do just fine. Hammer Time Custom Calls by Joey Dopp. Check him out on Facebook or email him at joeydop at gmail.com. For tons more videos, go to our YouTube channel, Wild for the Outdoors. You can also see them at www.wildfortheoutdoors.com. And be sure to visit our online store. And don't forget to go to Facebook, like us, share us with your friends, and hey, remember, it's your God-given duty to manage this land.